Town Hall 15 is only a day old, and we're already seeing some very interesting strategies starting to emerge right out of the gate here. This is an Electro Dragon Queen Charge Recall attack here. He's got a Queen Charge going towards the Town Hall here, and he's got four healers to support his Queen Charge. Now, if you don't know how the Recall spell works, it makes so that you can pull troops back onto your troop bar, and at max level, it can grab 90 troop space. So the hero is 25 of that, the pet is 20 of that, and each of the healers are their camp space, which is 14. So you can't really grab the Unicorn and all four healers there. But what you can do is wait for the Unicorn to go down because the Town Hall is probably going to take it out anyways. And then you can wait for the Queen to take the Town Hall down and then start to push that compartment to go out to the target state you're looking for. And then as soon as she's moving towards any threats, recall her out of there and take all four healers with her. And you can see that the Unicorn died out there. Not a problem. When we have it later on and you can get the Phoenix, you can definitely throw the Phoenix and it'll actually pull out for free with the Queen there and you don't have to waste it. So I really feel like that's going to be the biggest part of the meta here but that queen single-handedly formed both sides of the funnel here for the electro dragons while taking out three air defenses in the process now the king deploys in down the line there from the queen the queen gets a wall break to go inside of the base there to funnel the electro dragons even tighter he uses the ward ability to get through the monolith and then he starts to make his way in towards the middle of the base here this is so absolutely genius and I guess we'll see if it works ultimately when everybody gets to max out defenses because Electro Dragons also got a new level. So this is so cool, though. What do you guys think of this? I really like this uh, creativity with the Queen Charge mixed with the Recall spell there. And I, I think it's going to be one of the more popular attacks there between the pro players. And just, I think a lot of players can learn how to use this pretty easily and definitely start to bring it out into your wars here. But he's still got a couple spells here. He was able to fight off the CC with the Electro Dragons before pulling out any uh, any potential defensive Lava Hounds there. And then the Royal Champion can sweep through with the Poison Spell and the Freeze. And he still has his King alive on the outside. The Queen Charge is still moving. He drops in additional balloons on the outside there. And the Queen Charge can eventually get through there and take it out there if the Royal Champion misses. But it looks like the Royal Champion seems to have it under control here. So very, very cool attack here from Matty J. All right, guys, a swag queen ability on top of that. Oh, I guess the queen had to go all the way, but we'll go ahead and fast forward it through there, and we'll move on to the next attacker, which is using the witches, and you know that I love the witches. This one is actually used against us, so kind of interesting here, but against King Leerbag here, who's on the top end of our bases, and looks like he's got an uh, invisibility tower and monolith by the town hall. I think he could have got that uh, invisibility tower a little closer to the town hall so he'd actually cover it, right? You can see it flashes the buildings that are actually going to get invisible when it activates. So you got to make sure you're actually covering the primary targets there. Otherwise, you're just going to end up leaving them out of it. But this is a bat go witch at Town Hall 15 versus two multi infernos. So he goes right into a Tesla farm here, freezes up the Inferno on the initial entry to the base there, and then you can see where he's gonna use the ward ability as soon as he comes out of that initial freeze there, that he pops the ward ability, but it's a it's a spam attack here at Town Hall 15. And witches and golems just got a new level there, and so did the bat spell as well. So he's gonna send in the bats on the top side of the base there while the Royal Champion tries to get into the multi inferno here. So he does have to ultimately freeze it, otherwise he's gonna lose a lot of bats to that multi. So maybe a little bit earlier the bats there. What do you guys think there? He's got an RC ability, so he can definitely have power through there a little bit more efficiently than he did. He's starting to lose a lot of bats here to the Wizard Towers, and he definitely made some mistakes there. He definitely rushed his Roar Champ, or rushed his uh, bats a little bit there. So he is able to push all the way to the Town Hall there, and tons of witches are surviving, and they have additional skeletons that they can spawn now with the with the new level i mean level uh, six witches was a long time coming and it's finally here and i'm kind of happy about it i mean we'll see how effective witch spam is in the long run but the extra hp out of the golems the stronger heroes and then when you start to add in the new pets and stuff like that and also i want to point out that with the new lightning spell being at level whatever the level is now it does 600 damage instead of 560 so you're now able to take out a scatter shot with six spells so you can actually potentially zap out two scatter shots if you are able to catch them inside of a quake radius you can even save a spell on it if they're both close enough against against each other but if you're able to clear out a scatter shot and every defense in his compartment on both flanks of the town hall and then charge right down the middle with a i guess any 
well, any log launcher attack. You don't have any jump spells, right? You can definitely do a Zap Witch at Town Hall 15. I don't know how the multi infernos will uh, be able to stop it if you don't have many freezes, but it's definitely an idea and definitely a cool thing to see coming back into the meta here. And it's like it's crazy that we haven't seen uh, witches in so long here. But let's go look at this one more attack here from Jacob up at the top of the order here. This was a Queen Charging to Hogbinder hybrid. He has a Siege Barracks in this one here. So this one basically done the same as you would typically see a Queen Charge Hogminer hybrid. And But Hogs just got a new level as well. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Miners got a new level. And I think this attack here, when you start to add in the new Siege Machine, is going to be one of the strongest in the meta. This one was used at the Siege Barracks. Siege Barracks is obviously not going to go anywhere. But I really feel like... If you want to do like a variation, like look, look how he's uh, charging into the base here towards the town hall. I think, and we've seen it already done in the test wars that we did on the uh, the test servers before we were able to launch town hall 15. We saw that if you use the queen to charge the town hall in a compartment like this, and you have like the single inferno and the monolith up ahead there, then rather than having the queen charge continue, if you think you can't keep her under control, and you think she's just going to end up dying, then as soon as she takes the tunnel down, just like we saw in the Electric Dragon attack, you could recall her out of there and then have her go form the other side of the funnel and basically make it function the same as the Electro Dragon attack did. But you can then use the new Siege Machine since you wouldn't need the Siege Bricks to form the other half of the funnel to support the King. Like the King could handle it and the Queen Charge could get redeployed there to go with the king or work next to the king and really solidify a very very clean funnel and then you can throw the battle drill in with the hybrid and it can be very very powerful so definitely a powerful option i like the uh the rage the spell tower making the super minions raged up there <laughs> that's kind of effective right there but the word of building was able to power him through that and he had the poison or where's his poison here did he ever get the poison down either way hogs out of the siege breaks now deploy and i think this probably would have funneled just fine there with just a king i think he definitely could have added a battle drill to this regardless and be able to get some good value with it because the battle drill is very powerful against these single infernos because it is able to go under the ground there just like the miners do and it does so much damage that it quickly gets back underground there before that uh, single inferno can really go full beam against the majority of the targets that it is able to fight so this queen still charges through level 85 very very powerful 35 raw champion and everybody's got max heroes right now with the uh with the four day potion or how long is that a uh, boost last there for going to town hall 15 but i'm excited to see more strategies start to merge here i am hearing some rumors about an attack with witches and electro titans so that is one that i'm going to make sure that we are able to catch as soon as we see one in our wars here and if you guys want to catch the town hall 14 war still because we just had the fire fiera grand finals between space station gaming and alpha mx esports they lagged the town hall 14 behind so they could play in that grand finals and if you guys want to watch it i'll put it in a link to my facebook page over in the description of the video and right now my page my facebook page is actually getting more views than youtube so <laughs> we're posting a lot of content over there a lot of content that isn't posted on youtube so go check it out and we'll see you in the next one